we are on our journey to build a grain bin house that we're going to use for short-term rental. As you can see, we have already laid the foundation to pour our concrete. We have already poured the concrete for the pads for the foundation of the grain bin house. In our previous videos, we went step by step and showed you what we've done so far. And what we're going to do today is talk about the the concrete and how long does it have to set before we can actually put the grain bin on top of it. But let's enjoy the videos here for a little bit and see what we've done. It's it's exciting to watch. We did hire this part out and our next video next week we will show you actually building the grain bin house and then after the grain bin framing is up, then we're going to talk about what we've spent so far. So that's a question a lot of people ask. One of the things I did want to show today was removing the forms. You can see that there's there's metal forms going around the pad there, and those are taken off after the concrete has settled or cured. Before I go into the the bin, the, the foundation itself, I, I do want to point out that using the metal that we did, we did hire this out, and the people doing it rented the metal forms. I will be honest with you, they're not really even all the way around like perfectly so if you have more of an OCD personality and you like everything to be perfect probably don't do this method we hired it out I know I've mentioned it before but we did hire it out because we've never done it before but we definitely going forward when we build our next one we've already got lots of plans we will do this ourselves we're already looking at buying our own backhoe and some forms ourselves so this is something that we'll be able to dig it out get it ready and just have the truck hum and we'll get the, a better result. Okay, so this sucks. I came back up here uh, to the front and I was hoping to catch the contractors. I owe them money. I was gonna give them a check and um, I wanted to get them, videotape them taking the forms off, but I missed it and I'm sorry. So you will not get to see that, but I will show you what it looks like in the muddy mess that we have now. See, we I was just saying how I was glad it didn't rain. Now I have a muddy mess. <laughs> so rain is good, not gonna argue, but I'll give you some video of what the form looks like once all of the, or the concrete foundation looks like once the forms were taken. So what we're gonna do next is the grain bin will be attached to this. It will actually have these big clips that will clip to this foundation. And it is about a foot high, a real grain bin that holds a lot of grain <laughs> actually would be about three feet high it would be a lot stronger but we're not putting that much weight on it so we went a foot we really didn't even have to as far as holding it up for a, a building to live in but my husband wanted it to have more of a realistic effect so we put out the extra money um, and went a foot high and gave it more of a grain bin look so there you go um, next step like i said is to get the grain bin they're going to come out and they'll attach it and then my husband will go around and seal it. And then this guy, the foundation, he's going to come back and then um, put some concrete inside. And that, so we'll make a concrete floor. My husband wants to put radiant heating. So the heating will come out of the floor. So he's got to put some, but he wants that heat to come up through the floor so that it won't be cold in there with the concrete floor. So that's the goal. And like I said, this doesn't look very big when you're out here in the um, open. I'll get a better shot back here that's because there's no walls and that's what happens it just um your eyes just see far and wide and it just looks small within the landscape but once those walls are up um it'll it'll be pretty big so 27 feet's pretty big all right guys thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video where the grain bin will be delivered and we'll get to get some video of that very exciting give me a thumbs up comment below tell me what you think have a blessed day.